Hi everyone, I'm Tracy. Welcome to my channel. I'm an acupuncturist and a yoga teacher and I like to combine those modalities in our chair yoga practice so that you can feel more balanced and a little more refreshed. So that means I'm going to be doing a little bit of tapping, maybe a little bit of uh, pressure points so we're going to focus on so that you feel a little more healthy so you can get your day started. So find a chair. You can use ones with handles or not if you have ones with handles they do also provide really great support so go ahead and grab that if you can and then have your feet hip width distance apart knees on top of the ankle shoulders right on top of the waist when you're sitting in your chair really want you to focus on engaging the belly muscles having your spine nice and tall and imagine somebody has a little string attached to the crown of your head and is lifting it so you feel really elongated as though you're, you're a marionette and the puppeteer is pulling you up, okay? So when you feel all of that and you're all settled, let's go ahead, close your eyes and set our intention for making this a wonderful practice to feel more limber and more balanced, okay? We're gonna take a deep breath in here, exhale out, in, and out, one more breath, in, and out. Okay, open up your eyes, Let's go ahead and take the arms all the way up, big breath, inhaling, hands together, bring them close to your heart, exhale, okay? Breathing in, arms up, hands together, close to the heart. Again, breathing in, exhale, breathe out. Ooh, I just saw something bit me on my leg. Okay, one more time. Breathing in and exhale, breathe out. So don't move your feet if you don't need to, okay? Breathe in here, exhale, twist. Great, come on back to center, nice tight belly. We're gonna engage the belly as we twist. We're strengthening into our core. Breathing in, exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, twist. All done, come on back to center. We're gonna take the hands up the midline now, lengthen the spine, and then open up. Big rainbow arms, okay, again, breathing in. Tall spine, long, long and lengthened out, and then breathe out. Great, again, breathing in, tall spine, belly tucked in, and then one more. Breathing in, arms up, exhale, breathe out. Great. Okay, let's go ahead and take the right arm up and sway to this side. We're going to hold it here. I want you to relax the bottom shoulder, relax the top shoulder, nudge this elbow back and go ahead. If your head's okay with this, your neck and shoulder, we're going to go ahead and look up to the elbow. Breathe in, and then exhale, look down to the bottom uh, wrist here. Look up, and down. I think our birds, my birds in my neighborhood are really happy about what we're doing. They, they concur, they like this pose. Breathe out, good. Lifting up, breathe in, and release. Let's do the other side, up and out. I love being out in nature, so great. I love summer in Toronto, Canada, it's so awesome. Elbow nudged, relax top shoulder, relax bottom shoulder, look up gently please, look down to the bottom wrist. Okay, try to keep that tall spine, breathing in and out, inhaling and exhaling. Beautiful, come on all the way up, lift and release. Let's go ahead and roll out the shoulders for three, two, and one. Let's go ahead and take the arms up for a nice brush stroke up to the sky and pretend you're painting a wall in front of you, brush stroking down. Up, high ten to the heavens, and breathe out, down. Again, breathing in, and breathing out. I love the brush stroke because we're adding a little bit of kind of qigong moves, which is part of Chinese medicine, part of acupuncture, and breathing out. Now we're going to brush stroke out, breathing here, 
and then brush stroke it in. See how I'm flexing my wrist, bringing them together. Open up, breathing in, and then flexing it as much as you can, and then bringing them together. Again, breathing in, and then exhale, breathing out. Now let's have the palms up, inhaling and releasing, breathing out. Again, expanding, inhaling, and down, breathing in, and down, and inhaling, and down, perfect. Now from here, I'd like you to take the hands in front. So we're gonna pretend we're opening a door. Okay, so we have two doorknobs on this one door in front of us, this imaginary door. I want you to articulate your fingers just like this. We're gonna rotate, turn those doorknobs. These are old school doorknobs. So we're gonna turn those doorknobs open and then pull back, chest up, and push in front, okay? We're gonna open the doors here again, pull in, breathe in and then push in front, tall spine. Open, pulling it in, and pushing out, breathe out. So we're gonna inhale in here, exhale. <sighs> breathing in and breathing out. <sighs> okay, inhaling, exhale, <sighs> tall spine, breathing in, whoosh, and breathe out. Okay, inhaling, breathing out, Breathing in and breathing out. Wonderful. Now with these fists, I want you to open up. Breathing in here, breathing out, push. In and out. Okay, in, tall spine, draw the belly in. Exhale, breathe out. In, out. Now from here, I want you to take these goal posts and you can open up the fingers now. Open and expand the chest. Breathe out, hands and elbows together. Breathing in, breathing out, in, out, inhaling, exhale, breathing in, exhale, breathe out, in, out, breathing in, and out. Now, breathing in, just for fun, we we'll sway to the side, breathe out. Inhale, nice tight core, breathe out. Ooh. Inhaling, whoosh, exhale. Inhale, you gotta really work your core muscles here. Breathe out, breathing in, maybe a little shaky. Breathing out, little add addition. Okay, breathing in, whee, breathing out. Happy hands, breathing in and release. Ooh. How do your shoulders feel? Let's roll them out, three, Two, keep on breathing, and one. Well done. Take the arms all the way up. Inhale, and release. We're gonna do that again. Breathing in, arms up, and then release them down. Again, breathing in, and release. Well done. So at this point of the practice, I really, we've really worked our shoulders, our arms. Let's go ahead and kind of work and wiggle our fingers out. So we're gonna pretend we're playing a piano to the outsides of our body and then bring the piano the keyboards all the way in front I want you to play the piano all the way up into the sky and then out to the sides it's a nice grand piano so you're gonna press pretty firmly and then bring it right back to the center okay and then release now go ahead and shake out the fingers Doing awesome we're gonna release that clasp the hands now together and let's roll out the wrist so even when we're doing something that feels kind of mundane like this, we're really working on putting some motion into these wrist joints, which motion is lotion. So when we activate these areas, we're allowing the synovial fluid to kind of flush into those areas. So let's go ahead and rotate the other way and don't forget to breathe, okay? So breathing in and out. Now show me your best roller coaster. So nice and big. Really articulate those wrists. Get the elbows involved. And if you really want to, go ahead and get the whole torso going too. Like you're really working it. You're doing a little dance, a little chair dance here. Good. 
Now, can you do it the other way? So I did this way, now I'm gonna go opposite direction. So this is a little brain teaser for you. How, how are you the other way? Do, do I look just as smooth? <laughs> and I'm moving my waist too. Good, don't forget to breathe. Good, release. Now take the arms all the way up. Extend, big stretch, inhale. And then exhale, round the back. Push those knuckles to the front. Draw the belly to the, um, draw your belly to your spine. Round out your back, bring your chin to the chest. Good, now breathe in here. And then exhale, take your hands to behind your head. Ah, basking in the sun. Just enjoying this stretch here. It's a beautiful heart opener. So we're gonna breathe in and out. So if your lower back is hurting, tighten your belly muscles a little and don't bend so much. Think about lifting your heart up to the sky, breathing in, and then go ahead and release the hands. Breathe out. Take a breath in and out. Well done. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and start to tap. And first, I'm actually gonna press into the top of my shoulder here. This is gallbladder 21 acupuncture point. It's a very common acupuncture point that I needle in clinic where people that come in with stress tension, neck tension, and shoulder tension. So I'm gonna go ahead and press into this point first, and then I'm gonna go ahead and tap it for three, two, one. Good, now I'm gonna do the other side. I'm gonna press into the gallbladder 21 on the other side. Nice pressure here. Okay, and then I'm gonna tap on it for three, two, and one. Did everybody breathe as they did that? Now, I would like you to take your hands and just gently or firmly press onto the outer part of your skin on the outside of your arms. Okay, this is kind of stimulating, you're stimulating the yang meridian of your arms, okay? So I've done that pretty much nice and firmly on one side. I'm gonna press and I'm gonna shake out, okay? So I'm taking out all this negative or grumpy energy out of my body, out of my shoulder, out of my neck, pushing it down out through the extremities and I've gotten rid of it, okay? So I pushed, 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 and then I've taken it Goodbye. Now I'm taking all the good energy up, up, up on the yin meridian, pressing upward, upward, upward. Okay? And I'm bringing it back, good stuff, into the body. Up here, now I'm going to come across. I'm going to go back and forth, rubbing it to the upper part of my chest, working a little bit into my lung space. I'm breathing. And now I'm going to press, press, press down, 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 any sort of grumpy energy, grumpy tension out of my shoulder, out of my neck, out of my arms, out of my body, out of the elbow, out of the wrist, out of those fingers, and goodbye. Now I'm gonna brush and press into my inner side of my arm, the yin channel, which is the nourishing area. I wanna rub, rub, rub that upward, upward, upward back into the heart space, so into the lungs, bring it in, and you bring it right back into the heart and the lungs. Okay, I'm gonna rub, rub, rub here. Beautiful, and then press your hands here, breathe in, and exhale, breathe out. Well done. Let's go ahead and take our hands down onto the thighs now. Okay, making sure that your feet are hip width distance apart still. We're gonna go ahead now and take the right knee up, okay? A right knee and the right foot up off of the ground. So as we do this, we're gonna draw the belly in and engage the belly to see how far we can lift it up. So I'm gonna tap and lift, okay? For three, two, one. Let's try the other side. Engage the belly to support the spine. Tapping, lifting, crown of the head still lifted. For three, two, one. One. So that felt pretty good. We're going to go with that now. We're going to do it something with our arms now, but we're not, instead of tapping, we're going to lift it up. So we're going to take the arms up, breathe in. And as the hands come down, we're going to lift the one leg up. Okay? Breathing in, lift. Exhale, other side. So we really need to engage the belly muscles. Press into the opposite foot. In, out, in, 
and out. Good. Inhaling, exhaling, in, out, in, oops, out. Breathing in, pressing down the feet, breathing out, in, out, in, and out. Now we're going to do extension. Breathe in, breathe out, extend. Breathing in, Breathing out, extending instead. Breathing in, breathe out, you got it. In, out, breathing in, breathing out. Inhaling, exhale, do one more set. In, tight belly, breathing out, in and out. Good, breathe in and release. Now, you can have a choice of taking your hands to the sides for support or keeping your hands right here. What we're going to do is we're going to maintain that engaged belly to support the back. We're going to lift the right foot up, okay? And then I want you to roll out the ankle. So tight belly, rolling inward for three, two, one, release, lift it back up, lift it up, and rotate the outward for three, tight belly, two, one, Release. Let's do the other side. Lifting, outward rotation. Three, tight belly. Two, one, release. Good. Lift it up. Inward rotation. Three, two, one, release. Now something a little bit different. We're going to come up on the balls of our feet and then press your heels down. Up and down. Lift and down. So as we do this, we still have a nice tall spine, tight belly, pressing, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, in, and that works. So working those calves, breathing in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Well done. Okay, from here, let's go ahead and grab onto our right knee, or right, pardon me, right shin, lifting the knee into the chest, big squeeze, and then go ahead and cross it. From here, nice little figure four position of our legs. I'm gonna feel it into that side of that right hip right now. I want you to draw the belly in, hinge at the waist, come forward, nice and, nice and easy. Once you start to feel something into that hip, I want you to round the upper back and melt here. I want you to breathe gently, firmly, and greatly. In, out, in, and out. And with each breath out, I want you to melt into that hip, okay? Opening into that space, breathing in and out. Well done. Tight belly, come on up. And go ahead, we're gonna cross the leg all the way, okay? Now, both sits bones still need to be rooted into the chair. We're gonna go ahead and take the opposite hand. So I'm taking my uh, left hand in, to the outside of my right leg. And the other hand's gonna be pressed beside, uh, behind me, nice and close to my uh, sits bones. I'm gonna breathe in, lift and lengthen here, and then exhale, twist. So as we do this, we want to relax into the hip. Don't put any pressure into the spine. Inhale, lift and lengthen, and exhale, twist. Breathing in, twisting, inhaling, and twist. Good. I'm going to try to keep my head over my sternum as I hold this pose. And then I'm going to look all the way behind me. And then I'm gonna look over the opposite shoulder. Breathing here, in and out, in and out. Inhaling, exhaling. Okay, we're gonna come out of this pose. We're gonna unwind with the breath in and then exhale, unwind the body, undo the legs, let's go ahead and do the other foot. So let's go ahead, grab onto the other leg. Nice big squeeze and then crossing. Great. From here, um, shoulders are still kind of square over the hips. 
I'm gonna draw the belly in, and if this is enough for that hip, if you're already feeling something here, don't go ahead and bend over. This is enough, this is enough. If you want a little bit more, okay, then we're gonna draw the belly in, hinge at the waist. Oosh, now that's a little much for me. That's when I'm gonna round my upper back and just melt here. We don't wanna overstretch any of this because we can put undue pressure onto our spine and we don't want that. So we're just gently breathing into the space. I'm gonna consciously use my breath out and push it into that hip. Breathe in, relaxing into that hip. Inhaling, exhaling. One more breath in and breathing out. Well done. We're gonna tight belly, we're gonna slowly come on up. Oosh. And I'm gonna just cross the legs now. Okay, both sits bump rooted into the ground. We're gonna take this left hand, press it into the chair behind us, taking the right hand to the outside of the left thigh. Inhale, lift, lengthen, and exhale, twist. Again, reminding ourselves we're relaxing the bum, relaxing those hips, so there's no grinding sits bones into the chair. Breathe in, exhale, twist. Relax the shoulders, please. Breathe in, exhale, breathe out, twist. Again, in and twisting. Now I'm gonna look over behind me and then now I'm looking to the opposite shoulder here. Inhaling, exhale, in, out, in, and out. Okay, breath in and then exhale, unwind. Well done. Unwind, undo. Perfect. How do you feel? Now from here, I'd like you to widen the stance now, and let's go ahead and do a little bit of rotation for our lower back. Okay, so we're just doing little mini cows and cats here. We're gonna go for three, breathe out, two, go the other way so it's a little cow in the front you see that and a little cow cow and cat oh did I say the cat part we're doing little cow and cat cow and cat well done okay from here they get a toe heel those feet back in so they're nicely placed hip with distance apart. We go ahead and take the arms all the way up, touch, breathe out, take the hands to the sides of you, breathe in, we're going to come on down, breathe out. With a nice tight belly, we're going to press ourselves up to flat back, hands at the top of the thighs, tight, tight belly, breathe out, come down, tight belly, come on all the way up, breathing in, hands at the heart, breathe out. Do that again, breathing in, nice little chair sun salutation, breathe out, in, breathing out. Tight belly, inhale the flat back, hands at the tops of the thighs, breathing out, inhale, press all the way up, exhale, hands to the heart. Okay, we're gonna do one more, breathing in, arms up, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Inhale the flat back, exhale down. Inhale, tight belly, come on all the way up. <sighs> exhale, hands to the heart. Okay, we're gonna take our hands back down to the thighs. Let's do a seated cow pose, seated cat. Again, cow and cat. So really roll the shoulders back and down, open up the chest, and give me that nice cat pose. Draw the belly in. Perfect. <sighs> Notice how you're feeling now at the end of your practice. Take a moment. Did the physical practice of yoga, has it helped you to feel a little more balanced, a little more at ease? Take a breath, breathe in. Well done. 
We're going to take our hands to the heart. I'd like you to us to close the practice with our hands in our prayer position. Let's thank for the gift of today. And let's thank for the gift of yoga. Well done, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. If you like this practice, please subscribe to me. Send me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. I'd love to hear from you. Peace. Namaste.